Welcome back to our series of videos taking a look at the timeline section inside of Plotter. And in this video, we're going to take a look at scene cards. Now, scene cards is where you keep all the information for your individual chapters or scenes within your book. To create a new scene card, simply click on a blank spot in the timeline. So here, I can create a scene card on the Wolf's plotline under Chapter 1. I have the option to use a template, which we'll go into more detail in a future video. So for now, we're just going to create a new scene card using the plus icon. Now we can give it a name. We can say the wolf is hungry. And we can click enter to save it. And now we have our new scene card. We can also move our scene card between plot lines and chapters. So I can simply hold down my mouse, drag and drop, and now this scene card is under Pig 1's plot line and Chapter 3. I can also drag and drop to move it back. If I click into the details of the scene card, I have some more information here. You can see at the top is our title, which we just created. And underneath is a description box where you can add additional information about the scene. For example, the wolf wants food. And you can add as much or as little as you'd like. And you also have formatting options with the formatting toolbar. You can also move your scene cards right here. So for example, if I wanted to move this down to Pig 1's plot line, I just choose Pig 1 from the dropdown, and now our scene card is moved. I can move this over to Chapter 3 again by doing the same thing. Or I can drag and drop it back. And again, in the left toolbar, we have the option to link even more information to the scene card. So we can link characters. For example, this is associated with the wolf. We can add places, such as the brick house, and tags, such as danger. And we'll show you how to set up these attributes in future videos. We also have the option to make the scene card a different color. So if I click on the color icon, I can then choose from this range of colors. So if I'd like to make it a dark green, click save. And now this scene card is green. To remove the color, simply click back into the details and click on the no color icon. When you save, now the color has been removed. And now when we hover over our scene card, we can see our updated information along with the tags that we've assigned to it. And now we can use our filtering option to only view scene cards that have a specific attribute that we've just assigned. So for example, if we only want to see scenes associated with the wolf, you can simply click on the wolf. And then when we return to the timeline, you can see all the scene cards that are associated with the character tag for the wolf and the other scene cards have just moved to the background. And you'll see your message, the timeline is filtered, telling you that you're viewing the timeline in a filtered mode, and you can simply click on the X to clear the filter, and now you see all your scenes again. We can also set up additional attributes inside the scene cards. And we can do that by clicking into the details and navigating to the attributes tag next to the description. So here is where you can create any custom attributes or anything you'd like to keep track of within every scene. So for example, if you'd like to keep track of the mood of that scene, you can simply click into the attribute, create a new attribute for mood, and click create. And now this will show up on every scene card, and you can also filter by these attributes. So if I have a mood of fear, I can click save, Head over to our filter again. And now you can see I can filter for all scene cards that have a mood of fear. And of course, it only has the one that I've just created. And I can click the X to clear it again. And finally, if I want to delete the scene card, I can simply click into the details and click delete in the bottom left corner. It will ask if you're sure. And now the scene card is gone. 
So that covers our brief introduction to scene cards. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for all our newest tutorials and information. And I'll see you in the next video.